Sideshow Collectibles debuts a new Gambit, which has us all excited, but it also has me asking the question, why is Gambit so sought after by collectors? What is up, geeks and geekettes out there? Today is a fantastic day. Sideshow just revealed a new Gambit, and I gotta say, I'm pretty pumped about it. It looks dope. Now, again, we're only seeing one tease of this image here right now, so we don't have a lot to show you, but I really like what they got going on so far. You know, him throwing the cards like that, the whole dynamic pose with his staff behind him, and the toothpick in his mouth with the, with the smirk. It just captures his character, and I think it looks fantastic. It's gonna be a nice matchup to Rogue, at least from what I'm seeing right here. Really hope to see this one at San Diego Comic-Con. This has me asking the question though, why as fans do we want this guy so badly as a collectible? Since Gambit's debut in X-Men 266, created by Chris Claremont and the cover by Andy Kubert, Gambit has been a fan favorite almost from Jump Street. I mean, he is just one of these characters that's shrouded in mystery. He's kind of that scoundrel type. He's a ladies' man. That's something that guys can really uh, relate to. You know, he's a ladies' man. That's something that girls can really relate to. Uh, you know, and he has those really cool powers, the ability to kinetically charge anything that he touches. So I've always thought that that makes him a very cool character amongst the X-Men fans. So how about movies and TV? Could that be a reason why we want to collect Gambit so much? I'm inclined to say no. You know, which is kind of strange just because out of recent history, most of our superheroes have become popular because of film and TV. You know, think about the Avengers, Captain America, Iron Man, the Hulk. They weren't as popular as they were before these films. You know, as a whole, most of the films and the popularity of these films have driven the value of comics and collectibles alike. But that's not the case with Gambit. His portrayal in the movies, you know, X-Men Wolverine Origins was laughable. I did not like that movie one bit and his portrayal in that movie was horrible and just so off character that I don't understand why they even thought to actually cast that guy to play him. And then the idea to have Channing Tatum play him, man, thank God Fox dodged that bullet because I feel like that would have just made it much worse. So I don't think it's movies that have driven our fandom about this character. Now the TV show on the other hand, that's a possible different story. The 90s X-Men cartoon can be argued as probably the main reason why most of the world knows about the X-Men. Now while a lot of us did read comics back then, there was very many of us that did it. But everybody saw that cartoon on Saturdays. I mean the intro to the cartoon is embedded in most of our minds. So that is probably a better reason why most people know about Gambit, more so than the movies. Another reason why Gambit may be as popular as he is, is that old saying that behind every good man is an even better woman. And in this case, Gambit's love interest is the character Rogue, and Rogue is definitely one of the most popular X-Men out there. You know, she is the Southern Belle, she is the girl next door, and also the girl that you can never have. It's because you can't touch her due to her ability of draining your power if you do. And the interest between Gambit and Rogue has always been a great dynamic. They're kind of opposing type characters, Gambit being the scoundrel, and you know, Rogue being that Southern lass that, you know, she's proper and everything. It just doesn't really fit but they always seem kind of drawn to each other. So I think that's also possibly a good reason why Gambit is as popular as he is. But all of this brings us back to collecting, right? So why do we want this character on our shelves so badly? And I think the biggest reason is that there's just not a lot of Gambit product out there. He's a character that doesn't really get put out all that often. The last premium format figure that we got of Gambit was close to five years ago, probably more than that now. And then we have an XM Studios Gambit that's currently out there for pre-order. But other than that, there's not really much product out there for this character. In fact, in pop figures, I don't think that they've even actually made a Gambit pop figure. So that's definitely something that a lot of Funko fans have been clamoring for is a Gambit Funko Pop. So maybe they'll do that at some point. But that is a huge reason. And another reason why it, that it solidifies my thoughts that you know, you don't got to take and put a character out every single year. You know, once in a while you deliver a character after you've done a run and people will want to buy that piece. It's because they want to complete the collection. And in Gambit's case, he's very popular. He's somebody that doesn't come out that often so that when you do release a character, fans are really excited and really happy about it and you get a good response rather than just taking and bringing out the same character over and over and over again, you know, like they do with with uh, Batman and with Wolverine, you know, in that case, you see those characters so often that it's hard to get excited about it. I mean, how many different poses can you possibly give us of the same character? At least in this case, 
we got something new and I'm happy about that. I know I, I constantly say that Sideshow is, you know, doing more of the same, but when they do stuff like this, I'm excited and I got to give them props where it's due. They did a great job with the way this one looks. So I'm really happy to see this one come out. But what do you geeks think? Why is Gambit such a popular character for us to collect? Do you think he's going to be there at San Diego Comic-Con for us to take a look at? And what do you think about getting a collectible of more? My fellow Americans, I am an idiot. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah.